Hello, I'm Dan. I'm from Barcode Earth out of Cleveland, Ohio. I'm going to show you how to install properly a Zebra GK420D direct thermal printer. Um, before you go through all the steps of how to set this up, I'd like you to um, take your, your thermal printer, plug the power supply into the back of the printer and the other end into the wall outlet. Um, then take the printer cable, which has a square end that will plug into the back of the thermal printer, and the other end will plug directly into your computer. Um, generally, this thing has a built-in driver, so once you turn this on, uh, make sure you load up your labels, and then it should go to green, solid green. Once that happens on your printer, if, if it flashes green, you can press the button once, and the flashing green will, should go solid. And if it goes red, then that means that your label size is not correct, and we can fix that issue as we go. So I've done all that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the search bar, and I'm going to type in control panel, which does populate up here right now. Then I'm going to go into, under hardware and sound, I'm going to go view devices and printers. Then this should show up here. Now, if this doesn't show up here, it'll, it might have an unspecified on the bottom corner here. And the unspecified would be there. If that's the case, I'm going to put a link in the description. And this link is going to take you to Zebra's website. So I'm going to, I've am already cut and pasted this. So this link that's on here is from Zebra's page. So you're going to download this, um, go through the procedures of getting the, the driver into there. It's going to ask you which port to use. You're going to want to use the USB 001 or to whichever the latest one is or the highest number on the end is should generally be your printer with some exceptions or whatever. But once you get to there, this should, after you install it, it should show up right here. So when I go into this, I'm going to right click on this icon and I'm going to go into this. I'm going to go printing preferences. Um, <coughs> this is set for default at three by two. Um, this is very important that you have this accurate according to what the labels are. If you're doing Amazon labels and it's like two by one or whatever this is, the general, the general you know, shipping label is four um, by six. Um, I usually take the darkness and you can go all the way up to 30 on the darkness on here. I usually set it to about 20. Um, this is how dark the label can, you know, how it can produce the image. Um, it's basically how much heat's applied to the label to produce the image, and sometimes you need to adjust that up or down based on what you're trying to do. Um, I hit apply on this usually. I'll go into the dithering setup, and I'll set this to none, and that will sharpen up your image when you're doing, um, when you're printing. Um, and I just hit apply and then okay. Um, so you should be able to right click on this, and you should go to printing property, or printer properties, then you should be able to print a test page, and that test page should print out of your printer without any issues. Um, now, if it just keeps printing a few labels and it doesn't, you know, it stops and it starts flashing red, you're gonna want to right-click on this. Oops, um, right-click on this. You're gonna go to printing preferences, and then you're gonna go to tools. Then you're gonna do something called calibrate media and then hit send. What this is gonna do is now that you've adjusted your label size to be correct, it's gonna start calibrating the label size so that it'll print out fine and then it should stop and it should be a solid green. Now if it's not solid green and maybe it's flashing green, you can press the flashing green button once and it'll turn to solid green. Um, this should be able to, um, you know, this, this is the best way to be able to install this printer. Um, you know, now just keep in mind that wherever else you print labels from on this, you're going to have to make sure that the label size on that matches this label size here. Um, but this should help you set up the GK420D printer. Um, if you like this video, I ask that you, you know, leave us a like or subscribe to us. We're going to have several other videos, um, you know, of this sort. Um, I, I appreciate your guys' time, and if you have any questions or anything, just let us know. Thank you, and have a great day.